Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You're watching Mainframe Practical Tutorials for COBOL. So today I'm going to show you a COBOL program using arrays. That is a one-dimensional array. Before I start about uh, a COBOL program, just I wanted to tell you like what is an array. Array is nothing but way a group of similar data items storing a common name. So if a group of data items which are having a same data type uh, so you you would be declaring uh, you have to declare a different data names so in order to avoid this so if we are having a group of same data name data types so we are going to create a uh, arrays so let me tell you an example so here is an example so you have a uh, you wanted to store all the month names into your variables so initially how do you declare you declare like 0 1 month of Jan picture class X of 3 month of February and so on up to December you have to declare separate variables right so in order to avoid this complexity or if, a, if it is having the same data type so instead of creating a separate variables uh, declaring a separate data variable so you have you can declare a single variable and you can call it uh, call whatever you want whichever whatever the variable you want whatever the data value you want to use it so that is with the help of arrays you can do it so array has two components that is index and data index is this part and it is the data where actual data gets stored so now I'm going to show you how do you write this COBOL program and how this index and how these data values comes and how it is stores okay so let's connect to the main terminal. terminal so now I'm connected to the main terminal. terminals this is my simple COBOL program so working with the one-dimensional array so as usual it starts with ID division program ID environment data division and working storage solution as I said array is divided into index and data so first you need to define your index so picture class is 9 of 2 and your month so here the important point you need to notice here is the pitch the variable should always declare with occurs and how many times that's the array size so your array size is 12 14 or anything hot so since we have 12 months in a year so I'm declaring a array size of 12 so that uh, in I can store at uh, Jan Feb and so on December month details in this array so so how we do use this index now we are clear that we have to use occurs and uh, we you know this is this stands for the array length so where do we use this index so in the spreadsheet if you see look at the spreadsheet if you want to restore in one and second or twelfth position you have to make use of index right so the same thing is happening here so you have to declare you have to pass a value you have to set the index value as initially as one and you have to go on increment up to twelve so you have to uh, you have to do some logic over here like perform until WS index greater than 12 so initially you will be accepting a month and you will be storing this Jan and it will store into a one first index of that particular array name month of I okay and so on up to 12th so you have to increment add one to WS index every time and stop run okay so with the, uh, this is the entire declaration of this array and uh, we are trying to accept it at the same time trying to display it so you have to compile this program and then you need to run your COBOL program so since uh, the compilation is done I'm uh, I'm going to run this COBOL program so just point to your program name and point it to your load library in SysNDD star I have to try to accept the names right Jan, Fab and Stro, so on and this has to store in the, in the form of our uh, month of one month of two month of three and so on so in the same way when I display month of one it has to display Jan month of two display as well okay so now I will try to submit it okay and we'll see the results it has been ended the max is zero uh, and the S colon S T okay you can see yes you can see the results it has been stored Jan Feb and up to December so that's how uh, a one-dimensional array will work okay just to recap array is a group of uh, si similar data items that stores a common name and uh, the important points you need to refer uh, uh, remember is you have you need to declare an index and you need to use occurs and you need to define your uh, the length of array that is using times okay 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, kindly please subscribe, share or comment on my YouTube channel. And I will be coming up with more and more videos. Thank you and have a great and pleasureful day.